Hello guys, welcome to the fourth episode of the Chelsea career mode. And it's a simming where and we're in the fourth episode now and we are coming up this week this this time guys we're just gonna go up January and see what happens. Right, um Um in before the start of January guys in December sometime I'm going to give you a squad report of the team. And guys, I'm gonna do some serious training of players this year and Cahill could be out of the club and we could send another centre back to come in there, but Really, we're just waiting for this to skim through now. I'm probably looking at Youngster Laporte. That's only me. Right, injury. Two two days for Anya. That doesn't really matter. Our young centre back we got for a million from Schalke. Right, for this, guys, we're, we're going to pick our strongest possible team. I, I hope is going to go out there and do a job against Ajax tonight. Strongest team, remember. You know, this team looks so strong already, and we've already been, I don't know how long here. Oh, Hazard on the score sheet. He's having an absolute outrageous season, this guy's having. He's so good. Finishes home to Sundown. It, it, oh, we got a youth free man. Scout back. Scout, scouting update. We've got to wait to Sundown, but we've got to go to the scouting update now, guys. We could pick up a very talented youngster here. That's a guy. We're going to consign him. I don't want guys like that. I just don't. So, we're going to have to reject him, sadly. But we're going to have to reject him. So, we picked up one guy from that guy's scout report. And we got a way to send on here, which I'm going to put up my strongest team again, guys. Because it's a very strong team. And right backs, you know, possible. I want to wait till the Siglio grows before we go out and get him for the team. But I should be quite a guy. He'll do right back for the now. Oh, Varane, my 84 rated centre back. Is um, out with an injury. That's pretty bad. But Hazard did score. And he's won us the game at Sunderland. And we're, again we're winning games. Which is really doing us well. We need to win games in a series. We need to do well. Right. We've got in our youth scout update. We've got the. I'm not liking this guy now. We're going to release him from a youth academy. This guy is young. Connor Ainsworth, And he's got potential to grow. We're going to wait till he go turns 16. Before we can sign this guy. And get him in the team. Mm. Come on. Simeon Kurt. Okay. This must be a home game here against Newcastle. I think it's a home game. I always guess and I always get it wrong. Right. I'm going to guess home. Oh, it's away, so we're going to have to play our strongest team anyway, because the strongest team is fit. But we have got Varana, which is a big, big issue for us, guys. We are going to start free play Luis today. And move, um... And move Remy onto our bench. And Varane, we're going to get bring him off, and then bring Cahill into the starting team. Where is he? So Cahill will start in the first team for now, because of the injury, what happened to Varane. And he's a very good centre back. Varane has the potential to grow in this team, guys. I really want him to grow. And basically, we're doing a lot of training. I want to say I want to do a lot of training this year, guys. And that's what we want to do. Come on, let's get a win here. Yes, Oscar and Costa. That rhymed. Both on the score sheet. And winning us the game at Newcastle. And seeing us top of the Premier League once more. And we have a big one here. Away to PSG. In the group, guys. Basically, both of us are through now. We're top of the group by goal difference. But we're going to pop our strongest team, obviously, against this club. And we're doing pretty well. 1-0, Ibrahimovic. You can take that, man. Oh. Again, they can take that. I'm not really bothered. But home to hole here, guys. We're going to give my first team a rest. I've been playing the last couple of games. I'm going to start my second team against Hull here. Get some players under game time. I really want some good players. I really want Remy and Quadrado to get some game time. And a win against Hull will really help us. Yes, Quadrado and Fabregas on the score sheet. As we won 2-0. Which is actually doing pretty well. We are going to stay up till January. And then we might... might I'll do a squad report and now probably end risk of losing a player. Who are we going to lose? Didier Jog, but I don't want him at the club, guys. I seriously... What happened? Oh, I don't want Didier Jog at this club, guys. I'm sorry, but he's going to have to go. He's a Chelsea legend, but he's going to have to go. We're not using him at this club. 
he can go out on free agent and end his career probably at the free agent stage. Because I've just got too many players in my club, you know what I mean? I've got, like, tons of players in my club that... Oh, just tons of players, and this, this is taking forever. Oh, don't you... That should do... Sorry, guys, this thing is absolutely freezing for me to now. It's pissing me off, but really... If you just saw the Korean video, guys, you you know I'm quite cheesy now. But we've got a massive game of the week, so... So I'm gonna have to play the set the for I'm gonna have to play, I'm gonna keep the second team on form and we're, they're gonna play away to Stoke even though we are top of the table by four points which actually really helps us coming into January. Yes, Remy Remy scores plus cost on the score sheet as well, and we're resting it for the massive uh, home game to Tottenham which is gonna start our strongest team in, and that should be a win. We're picking up these wins very freaking fast, guys. Come on. 1 0. We should be winning games at home. That's pretty annoying, but Costa did score. Again, on a season, he's doing well. This is why we need second and first teams for this. Guys, home to West Ham. I think we're not going to play our first team. We're going to play our second team today and see how it does. Kiel has been playing because of the injury to Varane. It's very sad news, but Kozovic has been doing well. Plus, the front two are scoring goals for us. And again, the bridge is an unstoppable place. We are winning games there. And we've got another youth month scout update. We really want some young stars in this team now, guys. Butler isn't cutting it. Well, I'm probably going to get rid of Butler, release him soon. None of these guys... None of these guys are going to cut it here at Chelsea. But I'm going to try, and guys, to make money for players. I'm sorry, but Butler does have a highest potential is 91. But I really don't like Butler at all, guys. I'm going to try and release him. He's young. He's 25. We can release him. 43. He doesn't even look good at all. So, guys, I've released him. Yes, that's very sad news, guys. Drogba. No reactions as he might um, leave the club, but... I have released Butler. He will not be used at this club. And sad, this guy can grow. And if he grows into a nine, uh, like an 87 overall player, oh my god, that's insanely bad. I'll really regret it, guys. But he's 43 overall. You're not getting my club or squad in that, for that matter, with 43 overall. That's not what we need here at Chelsea. But again, Southampton here. Yes, Oscar on the score sheet. We're winning back to back games as usual in the BPL. And now, guys, we are coming up to January. And this was going to be... Guys, we all know it was going to be quick episodes. And today, we're going to do our quick squad report of our starting team. So, we have T-Bank Cotois. He is growing. Obviously, we know, guys, this guy can grow really high to 90 potential keeper. He's one of the Chelsea stars here. And he will be staying here for seasons to come. Unless the team come up with $8 million for him, which I absolutely doubt. Next, we've got Felipe Luis covering in for Asher Bequet, a right back. He's a very good right back. 29 years of age, though. He could go out of the club. I could see the transfer list this guy, and that'll be a big deal, but I might transfer list him in January because of 29 years of age. Keo again. We could get a younger centre back in there for him. I'll be back in a minute. I've got to get something done. I'm sorry. I'll just scroll through while you do that. Sorry guys, back. Um, I had something to do, but um, I'll just I'm just scrolling through for you guys to check out how um well these players are growing. Lucas is growing. It's pretty nice. Hazard look is on excellent form. Is very happy. That's really nice. Oscar as well. Cost up to an 86 overall. Aya, uh, whatever his name is, he's growing, which we really need to for him to do. Kozovic is growing. Muriel is unhappy, guys. He doesn't look the best, but. Kurt Zuma's getting a game a couple of times. Mohamed Slaw's getting a team. You feel threatened, Quadrado, but I'm not looking to get rid of him. He, our bench striker. Loic Remy, guys, very good striker. Socrates, the guy, I haven't been playing him, but just all these young players and... Marin's been grown, guys. Marin looks a very good player. I remember using this guy in a squad builder I did on Ultimate Team. He is insane. I really like Marin, and we might bring him back. But 
away at Spurs here, guys. We're going to skim this game, and I'll end the episode there. So, guys, I'm just going to skim this game for my strongest team. Hopefully, we can get a result there. Yes, Lucas getting us a result. And this team has been going very well. So, thank you for watching the fourth episode of this Chelsea Sim. And I will see you in the next one.